Hello everyone, we are glad to have you back. The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live Episode 3 contains a revelation that sheds light on the world of The Walking Dead's long-term prospects. Since The Walking Dead, The World Beyond, it has been abundantly evident that the Civic Republic military is a very ambitious group that has devoted a great deal of time to formulating plans that will occupy them for many years to come. But this strategy, according to Jaddy's, spans centuries. Like the characters in World Beyond, Rick's experiences in The Walking Dead, the ones who live have led to some shocking revelations regarding the CRM's background and current methods of operation. The topics of their objectives in the world of The Walking Dead have also been extensively discussed. After the third episode of Rick and Michon's spin-off, this specific locale is discussed, giving viewers a glimpse of what the end of the world might look like after a few hundred years. In the opening flashback of The Walking Dead, the ones who live episode 3, Rick and Jaddy's met for the first time since the main series events. Jaddy's brought up the CRM's 500-year plan for The Walking Dead's universe in an attempt to justify Rick's desire to stay and lead his former life. The overall goal was made clear. The CRM wants to remake civilization over the course of these 500 years, but the precise stages this plan entails were not explained. Of course, getting rid of the zombies and rebuilding society go hand in hand. While acknowledging this, Jaddy's asserted that the CRM is attempting to best the zombie menace. The CRM hopes that after that, the globe will not only return to its previous state, but will also surpass it. It is assumed that the CRM thinks it can set up laws, authorities, and other structures that will elevate their society above the one that the zombie apocalypse destroyed. How it can achieve this objective is unclear, but The Walking Dead has already alluded to a possible end to the pandemic in some of its episodes. After extensive research on the virus, The Walking Dead, the world beyond revealed that the scientists at CRM have determined that fungus are the most effective means of eliminating zombies. They may be able to create a treatment that would cause flesh to decompose more quickly by researching mushrooms and the fungi that grow on zombie flesh. With the decomposing corpses decaying so quickly, zombies would eventually go extinct. At least during the World Beyond era, their plan to eradicate zombies was based on the idea of using mushrooms as weapons. The distribution of the remedy would be the following action. Their fungal solution would be extremely difficult to propagate globally. Even though the CRM is the most powerful military unit in the world of The Walking Dead, it would be difficult, if not impossible, to guarantee that every zombie on the planet is impacted by their cure. It is true that the CRM has a significant aerial presence, and it might take advantage of it. Even if The Walking Dead manages to solve this problem and eradicate all zombies, that still doesn't explain the threat that the living provide when they pass away. The CDC informed Rick's gang in The Walking Dead Season 1 that everyone in the post-apocalyptic world is a zombie virus carrier. That's why, whether or not they are bitten, humans always turn once they pass away. Therefore, even if the mushroom cure proves effective and all current zombies are eradicated, there is still a chance that zombies will repopulate the planet. They would eventually fall apart, perhaps, but not before causing havoc on the CRM's reconstructed civilization. It makes sense that the CRM would give their strategy such a long timescale in The Walking Dead, the ones who live because both of these difficulties, promote the cure and prevent the living from turning into zombies, are so difficult. Although 500 years may seem like a long time, it's unlikely that they will be able to accomplish their goals in the lifespan of those who are currently employed by the CRM. According to the scientists in World Beyond, this is true. Maybe there is a world without zombies, but it's not one that's on the horizon. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.